Well, uh, welcome to this chess shop plugin tutorial slash review. I'm gonna show you how to configure the chess shop, how to create in-game admin shops and player shops and give some more information. So uh, let's start with the configuration, uh, shall we? Welcome to this configuration tutorial part of the chess shop plugin. Well, let's start with the config file. We are gonna edit it. I'm using Notepad++ because it's very easy. Uh, first to start, if you use uh, a other economy system than uh, Vault, uh, then you can uh, enter the uh, system you want to use. For example, economy, boss economy and essentials. Uh, others are, as far as I know, not supported. Shop interaction interval will uh, say how often the player can use the sign uh, in one thousandth of a second. Ignore creative mode. Um, well, I am having it on true because uh, well, it's very handy to test it out if you're in creative mode. Uh, but it allows you to use it or not use it when in creative mode. Reverse buttons um, will change the buttons with left and right click when buying and selling. Shift buys in stacks. I have it always on true because it's very handy to buy in stacks with shift. Otherwise people have to spam their mouse button to buy a stack of items. Um, well, shift can also be allowed to sell in stacks and such. Uh, so, um, if this will say if they can buy in stacks, sell in stacks, or everything at once. Allow the sign chest open. Uh, Yes, I have it always on true because when people click the sign, the chest will open from that shop. Allow left click destroying. I have it set on allowed, but um, the when you disable it, then it uh, it's easier to to just enable it. So when you disable it, it's a little bit harder to destroy it uh, when you have allowed sign chest open enabled. Well, uh, I've set this on false because when shops are empty, it will automatically destroy the shops, which is not very handy if people pay to create the shops, in my opinion. Uh, remove empty chests is the same, but then removing the chests if they are empty. Well, I have this in false too. This is uh, this is important. When you change this, you must also use another name in game when creating an admin shop. So, for example, if you create a sign with uh, admin shop on the top, it creates the admin shop uh, from chess shop. But if I change this to, for example, my server, Bitcube shop, then I must enter Bitcube shop on the first line of the sign to create an admin shop. This is the account where the money goes through and comes from when um, using uh, the admin shops. Um, and also for taxes and such to go into. Um, this is something uh, also something important whenever bank account members can create shops on its behalf so um, to be sure let people that if they are the holder of that account they can create shops uh, for that uh, for that account the tax amount is a percent of the price that goes into server account when you enter 100 uh, all the money that 
people uh, get from selling stuff goes to the admin account, so to the server account. Uh, when you put in some 50, then it's 50-50, that the player gets 50% and the shop gets it and, and the server account gets 50%, so that's that. The bank tax account uh, is when buying from uh, from uh, an admin shop. The tax uh, amount uh, that uh, gets to the uh, server account. Server tax amount is um, the same as the normal tax amount, but then from the for the admin shops. Uh, shop creation price is how much it costs to create a shop. I have set it to uh, 30. And when they destroy the shop, uh, they get 10 back in my case. That's the refund price. Uh, this is for blocking shops with sell price higher than buy price. So this is handy for people who don't know the plugin for uh, for a good amount because otherwise they can create shops and lose money with it so that's not very handy um, so I have that enabled uh, allow multiple shops at one block it can be possible but I wouldn't recommend it Other otherwise uh, it's going to annoy you by clicking multiple shops at the same time for example um, I believe some mods allow this, but I don't know how this uh, works in vanilla, but, uh, well, that's that. Allow partial transactions. Well, can shops be used when the seller does not have enough items? Well, yes, I have set this to true but um, it doesn't really matter much in my opinion show message on out of stock well I think it's handy to show the players that the shop is out of stock otherwise they can spam and don't know why they don't get an item uh, show transaction information to clients that's uh, handy for the client so they see what they purchased and for how much Show transaction information owner is for the owner, so they see that people are buying from their shops. Log to file will uh, log uh, the actions to a file on the server. Log to console will output uh, the log into the console. Log to database will use a eBean database to store the uh, log uh, data. And uh, record time is uh, how long should the information be stored in the database. Uh, minus one means that it's stored forever. Um, will you want to stack everything to 64? Then you can enable this. Use building protection will protect the shop for from being destroyed. And... Um, also for chests. Stick signs to chests. Um, well, I have not used it, but you can enable it to let signs stick to chests. As it already explains. Turn off default protection when protection externally. So when you are using another plugin, uh, protects the block, you can uh, enable that. But it's experimental, so um, I here it says that it will glitch out and show that the chest is open when it's not. Turn off sign protection if you want to turn off the protection for the sign. Turn off hopper protection when you want to be able to people let uh, get items out of the uh, chest with a hopper. Then you can uh, disable this, uh, enable this. Otherwise, I recommend you put it on false. Otherwise, people can steal on people's items by placing a hopper underneath the chest. Protect chests with LEC. If you have LEC installed, 
then it will protect the chests with LEC and the same counts for this one for signs um, that's uh, handy if you have LEC installed generate static statistics page is when you want a web page showing the statistics from this plugin uh, it will create a web page with all the kinds of information about shops and such World Guard integration if you want people to uh, can only create shops in certain regions then you can use the World Guard integration um, when you want uh, World Guard use flag will enables you to choose whenever the flag uh, will allow chess shops and um, if you want to use uh, World Guard's chest protection and there is also an extension for heroes it's how much I XP uh, heroes XP people get when the heroes plugin is installed so that's the config let's go to the next one uh, the discounts IML this is one when you are gonna use uh, permissions for example if I enter uh, VIP uh, 50 then they only pay 50% of the price normally you have to pay for uh, for creating a shop so for example when uh, they create a shop uh, normally it costs 30 uh, as set in the config file over here you can see 30 and uh, and this time they pay 15 because uh, they get a 50% discount you have to give the chess shop this dot discount dot uh, VIP for this example uh, to let them pay that discount otherwise it won't work so up to the next discount the local file enables you to uh, translate if you want to into other languages the messages of this uh, plugin I'm not going over to everything so uh, you have to uh, look at it price limits is handy if you want to uh, max out or minimize uh, the, the price so for example if you put in item ID 1 uh, and the max buy price is uh, 5 for example then they cannot get more than 5 for the item let people pay more than 5 for the item and for the sell price same thing to let people not pay more than uh, 5 for the uh, to get more than 5 for the uh, the item and here's the minimum what people have to pay at least for an item or get at least for the item so let's go in game and show you how a admin shop and a player shop is created welcome in game on the bitcube server i'm now gonna explain how to create a normal shop so first you are gonna need a sign a chest and the stuff you want to sell or buy in first you're gonna place the chest on the ground next to a wall for example then you pick up the sign and create a sign but first we want to know what item ID the item is that we're gonna use we can use the command slash item info to get the item item information from the item you have in your hand for example currently I'm holding stone which the item ID is one so let's create a normal shop first we're gonna leave the first line empty next line we're gonna enter the amount the player buys at once for example if I enter one they are gonna buy one item at a time they can use when shift stack buying is enabled they can buy 64 at a time even when this is on one first you're gonna enter the uh, buy price that people have to pay from for buying it from you for example if I enter one the people pay one for one stone in this shop when we want to sell the item we are using this when we want to buy in the item we can do the same when entering a double point 
and then after that a price that we are gonna pay to get that item for example if I want to pay one for buying that item from a person then they get one dollar from my account um, to uh, sell that item to me on the last line we are gonna enter the item ID from the item or the name of the item in this case I put one because we are gonna sell and buy stone that's it the shop is now connected to this chest so we're gonna put stone in this chest and now people can uh, buy stuff from me or sell stuff to me when I right click on this sign it will open the chest in the shop inventory so you can put items in and out people can sell stuff to me when right clicking with the item in hand or buy stuff from me by slamming the sign easy isn't it now we're gonna make an admin shop well I changed the config to enable us to write bitcube shop on the first line so let's do that first we're gonna enter bitcube shop because I changed it into bitcube shop in the config then select the amount people buy at once for example one then people buy one at a time or when buying in stacks 64 at a time next we're gonna enter the price that people will pay to get the item for example one then they pay one for one item then we're gonna enter how much they get from selling uh, something to me I am entering one for that as well so they pay one to get it and get one when they sell it to me you can also leave one blank for example this will only let people sell stuff to you and not from you and at the last line we enter the ID or name of the item we, we want to sell so I'm in this case I'm entering one which is stone and that's it shop is created it's connected to the server account so now I can uh, sell stone to it or buy stone from it easy isn't it and you can do is as much as you want and such so uh, that's uh, very handy when using items with a double ID so with metadata for example if I use item info on this item I can see that 3A3 double point 50 that's the ID that you're gonna enter into the ID field uh, the last line on a sign so for example stone was 1 and now you have to enter 3A3 double point 50 so don't forget the double point otherwise it won't work correctly well uh, thanks for watching and I hope you like this tutorial rate and subscribe and uh, see you all guys later for another plugin tutorial or review or the next bitcubes news good luck Thank you.